My name's Catherine Glynn and I want to tell you about the stuff that's been happening on Llyn and the benefits um, that the Llyn Peninsula has had by the Welsh Government's Nature Fund. By working in partnership with many organisations, our aim is to develop an understanding of this treasured landscape, sea and land. One project has been a marine project which is called the Ecosystem Based Approach Projects and that works with the fishermen in Penllyn and we're trying to um, strike the balance between conservation and the fishing industry. One aspect of the project is going to be looking at the litter issue in the seas around Penllyn and how the fishermen can maybe contribute to tackling that issue. And the project has been set up in places like Scotland and Cornwall. And what are we going to try and do here is find out what the issue is, how much litter is there in the sea and what, what's the source of that particular litter. Another one is looking at whether there is a problem with bycatch getting caught in the fishermen's nets, such as dolphins or porpoises. And we're not sure if there's a problem yet, but we want to research that. And if there is, looking at getting some sort of deterrent so they don't come close to the net. We've now moved up the coast and we're at Porthin Shine. And to show you another project that I'm involved with, and it's to do with the conservation of the seagrass here at Porthin Shine. Seagrass is a very, very important habitat to a whole range of fish and we've got the best example here in the Portland Line in the whole of the UK. We're building on work that's already been done by the Penllyn or Sarnai Special Area of Conservation regarding the, the seagrass here. And the problems that's occurred is that um, some anchors have scarred the, the, the seagrass bed and left, left circles really um, on the bed. And we are trying to look at possibilities to maybe get some other anchors. Um, and, and we're talking to local fishermen and stuff and just getting the ball rolling into different um, sustainable ways of anchoring boats here. My name's Kevin Roberts, I'm a farmer and I also work as a ranger for the National Trust. With the help of the Nature Fund we've been able to restore a lot of stockproof boundaries on various sites on the Thlin Peninsula. We're here on this specific site on Munithriw. Uh, this particular site is approximately about 200 acres in area, um, surrounded by this particular stone wall which covers about 90% um, circumference of this particular site. Um, it hasn't been grazed now for close on 30 years. This is just one small section now of the traditional dry stone wall that has been repaired by the dry stone wall contractors that we are using here. In a couple of months time we're hoping to have grazing on this site um, but obviously there are certain sections where grazing will be impossible so we, what we intend doing is to use the flail um, right tech machine to clear certain sections to make grazing easier. The byproduct of all this cut material uh, is that it has become a really useful tool as a bedding for both cattle and sheep. These restored walls, uh, they've been here for approximately 200 years. We hope now that they've been restored again, they will now stand for the next 200 years. Um, not only are they more endearing than, a, than a, just a fence, a wire fence, which has a, a very short lifespan, um, but also the wall itself creates a fantastic corridor for flora and fauna, obviously. Um, but the number of reptiles and what have you in a stone wall is, is pretty amazing. Not only is it a, a fantastic li a wildlife corridor, but obviously it creates a fantastic shelter belt for the animals as well. We know accidents have been made here many thousands of years ago. So what we've done, we've created a, a leaflet for the wallers to identify any accidents that they might come across during the process of building this wall. At Carag, we are building a new earth bank or cloud, uh, extending the existing uh, ones we built a f quite a few years ago now. At Munin Maur, we are erecting a new fence to enable future cattle grazing on the site. By combining farming and conservation we are making the management of the heathland sustainable and at the same time we're hoping to provide a great place for people to visit and explore the natural world. We're off to Kilan next to see a traditional cloud wall. 
my name is Dilwyn Williams. I'm a stone waller and I'm building a cloud with a stone faced earth bank. There's a path that's been done over there and this is the path that needs to be done now. My name is Iwan Hughes. I work as Plas Glynweddo in Llanbitrog. Through the Nature Fund we've been able to resurface an, a path and improve access within the woodland. As a result we've increased uh, footfall within the woodland which has a network of paths. It's brought a lot of economic benefits to, to Plas Glynweddo. It's also important that the the path that's been resurfaced links with the, the All Wales Coastal footpath and that is fantastic. There are several other initiatives we have been able to pursue with the help of the Nature Fund. We have cut back undergrowth and created some glades at Porthmeidwy which make an attractive habitat for mig migrating birds. We have produced a leaflet to help people enjoy walking with their dogs without harming wildlife or livestock. The leaflet explains that the grazing livestock are the sustainable management tool that makes their walking experience possible. We have also contributed to the Coronation Meadows project and recently held an event to encourage people to seed areas using seed collected from the meadows and demonstrating good practice. We have reintroduced the harvesting of seaweed as fertiliser on Bardsey Island. Many organisations have an interest in Llyn and an important aspect of these projects have been team working. We will develop this way of working and the ecosystem based approach to explore the natural capital of this area and to protect this area and the landscape, sea and land and the people that live here.